Hey ho, hey ho. Happy 2022, everybody. We made it. Praise God and you. Amen. Amen. If you are new to um, this channel, welcome. If you have already been here from the beginning, thank you for still rocking with me. My name is Crystal, and I share about my grief experience here on this channel. I experienced a lot of loss in 2017, and I am still healing and moving with my grief, and I hope that you uh, journey with me. So today, I wanted to talk about the terms grief or grieving, mourning and bereavement. Now, you may be like me. You've heard these terms, didn't think anything about it. All sounds the same to me. But in doing a little bit of research, um, I learned some things and just um, how different they are, but then also how um, they also uh, work together, right, to in this grieving uh, process. You know, like the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, right, they um, work together together for one uh, purpose. So that's how I think about grief, mourning, and bereavement. So let's get right into it. So first is grief or grieving. So grief is basically a natural uh, response or reaction to a loss. And that loss could be your job. It could be um, your property, maybe your pet, you lost your pet. It could be your marriage, divorce, a breakup. You know, I hear a lot that divorce um, feels like death. It feels like a death. Um, it could also be you're grieving the loss of a wayward child. I've had these conversations with parents and, you know, it, it pains them that their child may have fallen into the wrong crowd. They may have turned their back on God whatever uh, the case may be, they are grieving um, their wayward child. Um, but I'm just talking about grief um, in light of, of death, of losing a loved one. And so grief is just basically um, your natural response or reaction to a loss, whatever that loss may be. Also grief, as many of you know, comes with different emotions. I mean, you have highs and you have lows, you're angry and you're sad and you're um, shocked and you feel numb, you know, and all of these could be at one time. But with these emotions, they tend to um, eventually help a person come to um, an understanding and acceptance of that loss. So that's what grief is. Now we have mourning. So mourning is the outward expression of grief and loss. And this um, includes rituals or customs um, based on your culture. So you have some cultures where they may um, wear all black for an extended period of time. Um, I know in the Jewish culture, they um, practice Shiva. So this is a week-long uh, wake that is, that is observed after the death of a loved one. Um, how we mourn here in the United States may be totally different than how someone mourns in the Asian culture or Caribbean culture, you know, wherever you may be. It doesn't matter how you mourn because the point is that we all mourn, right? So there's no wrong way. There's no right way. We all mourn. And um, the next one would be bereavement. Now, you may have heard this term um, at your workplace. You know, you may have had coworkers or even yourself who have taken uh, bereaved time off to kind of deal with the passing of a loved one. So basically, bereavement is a state of having suffered a loss. Um, the person that lost someone is said to be bereaved. So I lost loved ones, you lost loved ones. So we are said to be bereaved. And so bereavement and mourning are both a part of the grieving process, 
right? So those are uh, the things that I've learned about these terminologies and just how they, they are used throughout the grieving process, but how they're all um, part of the grieving process. And so I hope that this video was of encouragement to somebody. I hope that you will share in the comments below, what are your thoughts on these terminologies? Um, are they used differently in your culture? How do you mourn? How do you grieve or are bereaved in your culture that may differ from how we do here in the United States? Um, I want to leave you with just some words of encouragement because I know this, this grief journey is really hard and it can be very lonely. <laughs> so some uh, scriptures that have been of uh, encouragement and comfort to me, and you may have heard me say them in different videos, um, is one, John eleven thirty five, which is Jesus wept. Two most powerful words in the Bible. It just reminds me of the personal and up close God that we serve and that, you know, he even weeps as we weep. Another um, scripture that is famous, you know, you may have learned it as a child. Um, it is often used in funeral and memorial services here in the United States is Psalms 23. But Psalms 23 verse 1 it says that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And that always reminds me that um, God is my shepherd. He's leading me um, in this grief journey. And so whatever it is that I may need, I won't suffer um, want because he's my shepherd and he's going to take care of me because that's what shepherds do. They take care of the sheep, right? And so uh, that's just another scripture. And the last one I want to share with you is Psalms 34, verse 18, that says that the Lord is close to those who are brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. And I'm telling you, in this grief journey, it will crush your spirit if you um, don't have a good support system, if you're trying to do it alone. And especially if you don't have, you know, some kind of, of faith connection, you know, something you believe in to help um, keep you encouraged and carry you through. And so those are just some scriptures that I wanted to share with you. And as I end this video, I encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share because, you know, we're all here, a community sharing what we're learning in our grief journey so that we can help and encourage someone else in their grief experience as well. And as always, I want to remind you to do whatever it is that you need to do to take care of you. Until then, God bless you. God keep you and I love you all. Bye.